Hello, and welcome to the Audiogenic Podcast. I'm Jack, and I am joined with my co-hosts, as always, Kofuku and Square of Three. What's up, guys? hey Yes, we are still doing this. <laughs> um, actually, has been a... Not too much lately, uh, in terms of news, but there is some news between us. Lately, I've been making since Square's YouTube channel has very little content, and he's been messing around with uh, recording software, I'm making a map on Minecraft for him to play, and it will be Square's fantastic adventure. And I would it just will... like to say, yes? what he means by little content is that I have no content. We tried to do a recording session the other day um, on this server with all these mini-games, and it was totally... It was a total failure. It, it was. It was a... <laughs> We were having issues actually staying on the same server. It seemed like whenever I was on one part of the server, Square was missing, or on a complete copy of the server. As if Minecraft was pushing us apart to keep this from working out well. So, uh, anyway, so you have that to look forward to, that I know for a fact will pop up on Square's channel. <laughs> and uh, speaking of um, channels and things, Square three and Kofuku are both now on Twitter. I joined the heathens. He, yes. It's funny. Like I am, I enjoy Twitter, <laughs> and then Kofu's like, eh, it's okay. And uh, Square is like, why am I doing this? I don't want to be here right now. Well, I had a Twitter before. And it was never very fun, so that's why I was like, I don't, I don't really want a new one. But I did it for you. <laughs> we did it for the just kind of for fun. us. But let me read you my make. most reblogged Twitter. I mean, my most retweeted tweet. This is me. This is me maintaining this thing. Suck it. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yeah. I have to retweet. How many times has that been retweeted? Once. Really? <laughs> what is it? Well, that doesn't count. It's still that means it's still very new. I mean, there are some retweets that are, that are just complete and BS. That doesn't count either. Yeah. Also, uh, speaking of the podcast, uh, Kofu has made some artistry that she's posted on the thread for the podcast on thecolorless.net, and we uh, she re- she tweeted it and I retweeted it, and I'm pretty mm-hmm. sure you did too, Square. That is a big it's yes, pretty yes. Amazing. I did not know you were that good at art, actually. I had not seen <laughs> anything you have drawn before. It's because I never get to finish anything. I always rage quit before I get to the coloring part. Oh. Uh, so, yeah, it didn't happen this time. But that did turn out really well. Myself. You should be. That's a very good... Uh, <clears throat> I probably would do terrible if I tried to draw something like that. You would. <laughs> <laughs> As would I, because we're not Kofu. We're not. We're not a part of the drawing, the drawing scene. No, don't get me wrong. I have tried. <laughs> I have come up with some pretty okay pieces in my in my not very long arty, art arts career, but Kofu tops me <laughs> by a long shot. So you'll be able to see that art on Kofu's Kofu's uh, Twitter account. I have also changed my profile picture and back art to Kofu's thing because <laughs> she's amazing and I love it and it has. But you're my uh, number one fan. Number one art fan. Speaking <laughs> of number one fans, have I told you about my friend who thinks your voice is super kawaii? <laughs> yes, you told me that like five minutes ago. Oh really? Uh, so does uh, Kofu have a secret admirer now? Yep. I'm a fan group. <laughs> so, uh, Square. <laughs> Actually, no, Kofu. People have been talking about how Kofu does not say enough. Kofu, say something. You're on the spot. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I talk sometimes. I like words happen. Like right now. Hear me speak. Actually, Kofu, out of all of us, I'm not sure how much uh, you game. You seem to be more into arti- artistic things. Do you play many uh, certain video games? What is your favorite game, Kofu? Um, uh, well, every 
finished many games, but I am currently playing Alice, The Madness Returns, and Twilight Princess, Legend of Zelda. Twilight so. Princess! And that was square three, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, it was beautiful. Yeah, and then I started playing Portal, but it's not really my games. I don't have it anymore. Portal is a classic game, though. Yeah, I'm probably going to get myself play <laughs> that up. It makes me so angry. <laughs> all all the games actually, make me angry. I've never actually played Portal. Really? Yeah, I when it came out, I thought it looked really cool. And then I saw Infamous and was like, ooh, lightning shoots out of his hands. <laughs> <laughs> Infinitely more blood everywhere must buy. I can see that. It's like a physics puzzles and then there's shooting people with electricity. Exactly. Yeah. And then it was between the new HD remastered version of Kingdom Hearts 1 or Portal. And I was like, Portal, Kingdom Hearts. And then I was like, why am I even debating this? And I bought Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Even though I have the first one, but it's not in HD. Uh, Kingdom Hearts. Game made me so mad. What? <laughs> I just remember getting to this scene where I just didn't know where to go. I was just kind of like roaming around that skateboard thing he has, and I didn't know what to do, so I stopped playing. Wow. What in doubt? <laughs> I, am I was like go 10, away. so I didn't understand that. Oh, were you in, like, the, the beginning? The very beginning? I think so. With the blonde-haired guy? I don't remember what hair he had, but probably... Because if you didn't get past the, the introduction phase, I am very mad at you. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say I haven't done the same thing in some 10, games. I was 10, okay? You can't me through my youngness. I got... Okay, I mean, in her defense, the introduction to Kingdom Hearts 2... Like, the introductory gameplay is really, really long. Like, unnecessarily mm -hmm. long? Like, it doesn't need to be that long. I get I get the um, the joke behind it being that long, or the, but, but still, like, uh. <laughs> kind of like every intro to every Zelda game, just so long. Mm -hmm. It's the ones that I've played. That is true. But A lot of Zelda games... A lot of Zelda games do have a very long intro. Uh, but before we uh, move on to games really quick, I'd like to talk about uh, one bit of news I actually did find out this week uh, since we've been talking about Twitter. Uh, Robert Downey Jr. joined Twitter. And he apparently had he apparently had not been on Twitter before. And his first uploaded photo was a picture of him holding the sign with his Twitter name, at Robert Downey Jr. And uh, last I checked, he had eight tweets and 1.28 million followers. <laughs> Square, that's why you need to keep up your profile. <laughs> it's 1.31 now, and I'm following Robert Downey Jr. Of, of course you are. Okay. But yeah, he joined in, in less than... I, I love it when they have to prove that it's them, because it's sort of a shitty move when you see a bunch of accounts for the same person and you know almost all of them are fake. It's, it's messed up. First of all, you're not really... It's, it's, you're really just basically living in someone else's fame and pretending to be someone else. It's really very, like, hollow. Yeah, it's scummy. Yeah. People deserve to be pushed. I mean, someone Wait. else that can find my people. Your news was Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> well, the one How? the one newsworthy thing I found was that Robert Downey Jr. joined Twitter. Everything else was basically. How are we supposed to compete with that? <laughs> I have nothing. I just I can't. <clears throat> I can't. I can't beat that. Well, if if I would like. To talk about something. Yes, so, you, you did want to go on a rant about something. I so so we I was will, realizing yes. something the other day as I was reading some stuff about what's been going on with Russia, the Ukraine, and Crimea, and this recent flyover the U.S. that Russia did. It reminded me, like, <laughs> I was in the middle of this restaurant, right? And I, like, it clicked in my brain and I immediately stood up 
and looked around and realized that I looked weird. And then I, under my breath, I said, Hitler, and sat back down. <laughs> but this is why. So that that does use that could use some explaining. <laughs> this is why. This is why. So I was a couple weeks ago. I was doing a lot of research on World War II, and I came across. I started noticing these patterns, like in World War, before World War II, Hitler took over the Rhinelands of France, and he took over Austria by telling the Austrians, hey, we want you to vote, do you want to be Austrian or German? He was said that with tanks behind him, and the ballot, the, if you look at the, at the ballot, the check, mark, the check box for yes is infinitely bigger than the check box for no. So like they knew what they needed to pick. And you kind of see that now with Russia going into Crimea, like, hey, you want to be Russian? It's cool if you don't, but I got this tank, you know? <laughs> and taking over the Rhineland was kind of like Russia flying over the U.S. because Hitler saw France and Britain as being weak because he didn't think they'd do anything. And I'm pretty sure Vladimir Putin is like, ha, ah, Obama. <laughs> Obama. You're not a man. You're a fish. Now I really don't know where you're going with this. Um. <laughs> I'm saying World War Three. World War Three. Okay, um, I can see that. I have a feeling there are a lot of details that a lot of people could be like annoyed with that we didn't mention. Yeah, there's there's a lot. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, we're back. People seem to think it's fun to call me when I'm doing things. Anyway, I uh, swear you were wrapping up some details about Crimea. Um, eh, my heart's just not in it anymore. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> mm -hmm. Just a straight segue from that. Um, gaming, anyway. Uh, back to gaming. Uh, I have been playing Broforce. as Square knows because I made a thread on the colorless.net about it, but Broforce is a really fun game. I, I usually, with um, side-scrolling games like that, I usually get bored really easy. <laughs> this is not one of those games. Well, I don't see how you get bored. It has Mr. It has Mr. T in it. Can't be bored with that there. Yeah, for those of you who somehow do not know what Broforce is, it is a side-scroller with jungle fortresses and the cliche action movie bad guys and you have all of these people to play from but they are all bros like Rambo is Rambro and Commando from the movie Commando with Arnold Schwarzenegger is Command Bro or Bromander and B.A. Bro Rockus from the A-Team and Ro Bro Cop and all sorts of other people like that it is just uh, the most actiony little side scroller I've ever played <clears throat> and it's uh, actually on Steam under early access now for 15 bucks. But that is what I've been playing, that and uh, making a ridiculous adventure map for Square of Three. Uh, yeah, I'm really excited about that adventure map too because chances are it's going to take me like a week to actually get it running. <laughs> I feel like you, I, I don't want you to get your hopes up. It's not going to be the greatest map. It's going to be very weird. Um, not the not like uh, I don't know how to explain it perfectly. Can you explain it at all? Honestly, it, it'd just be easier if um, if you just play it and people see it that way. That'd be the easier easier way. You just have to play it. It's one of those maps. Is it going to be anything like that Mirror's Edge map that uh, we no. it, it was. Uh, it's not going to have a lot of parkour, really. It's like it's going to have some jumping, but not that much. But, uh, speaking of Minecraft, sh I mean, sh shortly, uh, I have also been looking for uh, a server to host at least uh, one or two of these mini maps and PvP maps I've been playing. Like, actually, later on after this video is out, you can probably expect to see a uh, Park Plaza PvP map on my channel. But, Square, do you 
Actually, we, when we were uh, trying to record the other day, when Square was having difficulty, we were actually uh, messing around with Minecraft. Do you make mini maps, Square, or do you usually play maps? I play maps. I since I have a Mac and I'm too lazy to do dual booting, I uh, just stray away from anything that's easier on Microsoft. Oh. Uh, well, that makes sense. Yeah. I mean, I love the Mac for everything else besides doing things <laughs> that aren't that don't include like mm -hmm. making Word documents and all that. That's easy and stuff on Mac, but like everything else, like that comes to having fun with games is unnecessarily annoying. I think that is the trade-off between Mac and Windows. Like Windows runs just about everything, but Mac runs smoother and doesn't really support everything. Yeah. Meanwhile, Kofu does not play Minecraft at all, and is probably sitting here. That only means one thing, we're going to have to get Kofu into Minecraft now. Yeah, that's true. Mm, it's possible. It's gone down to negative 15% chance. <laughs> 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 That's good. Uh, me and Square good and me and Square and uh, some other people from the Colorless.net. We have a gaming group, and we have gotten Minecraft for probably three people. Like, usually it was mm. Wolfangle, but uh, I think I'm not even sure if there was an instance where it wasn't Wolfangle. But yeah, um, there wasn't an instance where it wasn't Wolfangle. <laughs> I, I didn't think so, but I know at least three people have been given Minecraft so they could play in this gaming group. That we don't even that we, use. Yeah, we don't even we don't even yeah, get on Minecraft much. Listen, listen. So we had Wolfie decides to hey, I'm going to pay to put up a server, and we played on this server every day for about eh, a day. <laughs> All of that one day, <laughs> and then then periodically, like sporadically, for the next two weeks, and then nobody got on. Like I got on twice after that. And it was a number, like, um, and, but, yeah, I can't talk today. It's like a month in yeah. between but with those things. It was, I think Wolfie feels like we don't appreciate him. Uh, I mean, <laughs> we don't really get on that much in terms of Minecraft. We usually uh, have a server for about a month because that's usually the time you pay for. And we, like Square said, we usually have about a week's worth of time in the three to four week month that we actually do anything. <laughs> Although it was pretty interesting when we tried Hexen. Oh, I'm sorry. I spaced out. What? <laughs> I mean, I'm allowed to do that. <laughs> Actually, um... So, guys, I have a, this question I need you guys to answer. And it's really important if you guys just hear me out. Um, will you help me hide a body? Come on, we can't relax. <sighs> what gets him on the floor? Get him out the door before he can decay! So, um, oh my God, we, we now, we, I was, hmm? what? No, I no, was no, go um, on, on Slashfilm.com and I saw this link to, uh, um, Game of Thrones and something and Let It Go mashup that you never knew you wanted. You should find that. You just reminded me of it. <laughs> There's just stories on this site. Reminds me. Veronica Mars link. I need that again. <sighs> I have a confession. Just type it in, my god. My confession is that I have yeah, not hey. read the Game of Thrones books or watched Game of Thrones, and I just do not care. I mean, I'm <laughs> right there with you, Jack. Me <laughs> Everybody talks about Game of Thrones. Well, I've watched a few episodes, yeah. and I like two characters. I don't remember what their names are, but I can't. I don't think I really care about anyone else, so I don't know if I want to 
commit to the whole series just to just for those two characters. I think mm-hmm. I think part of it is I don't even really watch TV much anymore. Like honestly, mm-hmm. most of what I watched TV for was uh, what was ever on Comedy Central that was worth watching, like uh, The Daily Show or some stand-up. And most of that has moved to the internet at this point, so there's almost no point. <laughs> yeah, you can find everything on the internet now. Pretty much. Pretty much. Like, I don't even have TV. I oh, do you, just, like, not have... I just uh, watch everything online. Do you not have, like, a cable so bill? I follow a few shows. Cable, satellite, whatever. Uh-huh. Yeah, I know. It's too expensive. Cable yeah. is getting ridiculous. Yeah, I just find everything online. Do you know yeah. why? getting really expensive though is it because everyone's starting to not use it and they're slowly dying well besides that they (laughs) they own they own media now oh yeah when a cable has like what seven owns like seven of the news whatever whatever's oh um when time warner was bought by comcast only like seven dropped down to six different companies that own like 99 percent of the media in america yes yes yeah. America. <sighs> End of the ignorant. Home of the fat. As always, send your hate mail to Square. <laughs> no. They, they should know this by now if they're watching this podcast. They should know that that's where any uh, discrepancies and complaints, they just go straight to Square. I mean, if they've been watching the whole time. Well, yeah. All three of our... Yeah. Existing, including this one, by the way. I'm not even being generous. There's four. I mean, well, the four, four AGP videos, not exactly four podcasts, but well, there's four videos that have the AGP logo. thumbnail. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> <laughs> but, oh uh, yeah, that one. Yeah, that it was <laughs> the um, credit to the the intro credit uh, theme was made by Trash Eighty, and since. We're not exactly monetizing videos, but I did not ask for permission. I figured it was helpful to at least give some promotion, considering I actually like uh, the artist anyway. You know, I think that's you know that's a good idea. Good idea. Jack. Uh, get <laughs> us an animated, an animated intro. An anim like uh, some to have somebody animate the intro. Yeah, that could be um, that could go really well. Yeah, I was I, I gotta find the um, the person that does it again their Tumblr, but uh, they do really well. Like, I've seen, like, Immortal HD, they got it done by that guy, and Sly Fox Hound, and all the people that I only watch on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. We could get Brother Blake <laughs> to do the music. It's just this thing with money that I don't money. Have to waste. That none of it. What's money again? <laughs> money? It's, it's that money. thing we don't have. That's what that is. Money, that thing we want but do not have. That unreachable entity. <laughs> also, I have found, since I do uh, my channel on YouTube, it's considering it's just a hobby, hence the reason why I hardly ever upload anything, at least not regularly, like once in a blue moon something goes up. Uh, it's because it's a hobby, and not to mention, there are so many things about people that use YouTube to make money not really having the best setup. It's not easy to make money on YouTube. Mm-hmm. And uh, also, I've noticed yeah, that this <laughs> Square is going for gold. <laughs> but um, another main, another problem is once you get tied up in monetization, things like copyright, that goes crazy. You really have to watch out for things that are e- to an anal extent. You have to be very anal about every little thing that's in your videos and making sure that nobody questions it or can question it. It's really uh, really a hassle. But if you just... There's actually a thing um, with one of the YouTubers I watch, Grace Hel- Helpig. Oh. She was on um, my damn channel. And she was on there for like years and then there was this thing that went down. I can't really remember exactly what she said hmm. or if she didn't even said much. Huh. This thing that went down. Kofus. <laughs> it was like, I guess, kind of like a thing with copyright maybe. like. Like so they a, kind of just like own everything. <laughs> like a strike against her no, YouTube you know channel. What I mean. It's like thing with copyright and stuff. Well, it is well, getting. I think it's like she wanted to, 
have freedom to do what she wanted, and they kind of just like owned oh. everything. So she went and made her own channel. Oh, okay, okay. She does her own stuff now. And it's actually kind of better because she was getting kind of boring, but I think she's back with interesting stuff again. Well, that's yeah, good. that's just relevant. So, <laughs> <Okay. laughs> but it's it's really is um, sort of ridiculous for what like if you have. Let's say you have a YouTube channel that's just you in real life, just you to link videos to people, say, on Facebook or something like that, and you have uh, home movies. And in a home movie, let's say you're, like, filming your kid and there's Spongebob in the background or there's some other show like that on a TV in the background, depending on the show, people can get angry about that being infringement of copyright from that appearing in your video. First of all... I want to say this. Who puts home videos on YouTube? That's the first thing. <laughs> that is that is a good question, actually. Second of all, mm. <laughs> that is stupid. Yeah. Actually, I kind of want to just roll with the whole who puts you things on YouTube topic. There, there were, there's an unnecessary amount of things on YouTube that do not belong on YouTube. So much porn. Yeah. Well, porn is a given. I mean, it's the, it's the internet. But, You're the internet. <laughs> but other than pornography, like things that are really, like, really unnecessary to be on the internet. Uh, I was uh, actually talking uh, in chat with a couple people about how technology is starting to ruin things like social interaction. Mm -hmm. And uh, a couple of users. Starting got, to? Well, <laughs> good point. Um, <laughs> actually, that was a, um, a speech that I'd uh, given in a speech class, but. I was really trying to get people annoyed, mostly because uh, it's, just, it's fun to me. But that's besides the point. Now, um, when you say <laughs> speech class, you have a speech competitive? No, no, no. A it was a communications class. It was a college public speaking course. Are you going to be a motivational speaker when you grow up? <laughs> that would be funny. Um, I, I probably have the voice for that, but no. I... That... That involves too much caring. I'm a very, very lazy person. Amen. <laughs> but but anyway, anyway. Um, I wanted to do a really not offensive, but at the same time controversial topic. So my speech topic was all texting should be eliminated. It should never exist. Considering, like, <laughs> everybody texts all the time nowadays. At least most people. Not everybody, literally, but you know what I mean. And, um... It's funny because I pointed out p people that were texting during my speech, which only helped my speech, mm -hmm. and it was it was really funny. And I said, "Some of you are texting right now, and you're not even paying attention." And they looked up and they like blushed and they put their phones away and shit. But uh, yeah, apparently, uh, what I used in my uh, speech in terms of uh, proof and evidence and blah 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 was that uh, more people now have glasses than hardly ever before. And that, of course, is a number of things, like uh, genetics and things like that. But it's also because everybody spends the time looking at screens and, like, television. And the internet and their phones. And that does Wait. hurt your eyesight. Well, let me stop you right there. <laughs> Jeans. <laughs> Jeans. I saw an interesting post on Tumblr the other day. Well, it's kind of annoying when people can't, like, put down their phones and stuff. Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. That is annoying. Of course you did. Anyway, that is very annoying. I agree with you. Especially on a date. If somebody's on their phone and you're on a date with someone. I mean, if you that's have to just, answer something... That's just poor. Okay. Like, if somebody, like, sends you a that's message... Bad manners. And they, like, quickly handle it and they say sorry about that, I mean, that's okay. But if they're, like, spending, like, 10 to 15 minutes on their phone, just obviously ignoring who they're with, that's Maybe just, just like, any rude. dinner. Like, yeah. It doesn't even have to be a date. It's like, if you're with your family or whatever, just, like... Oh wait, no. See, yeah. I can't. I can't. I can't agree with that. I mean, that's that's where the gray line comes up because a lot of people just don't care about respecting well, their families. Sorry well, about this. Sorry about this. I have to. Uh... Hello, welcome back. After yet another interruption. Anyway. Uh, Jackson, of course. Yeah, it, I get interrupted a lot. Um, anyway, Easter is coming up in the next couple of days. Um, what are you guys planning on doing? Well, did, did you know that there's a study that finds owning cool leather jackets is more re rewarding than raising children? That's how much I care about Easter. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
So, oh, uh, the jackets are cool. Ooh. I I heard that uh, you don't celebrate Easter, Square. Do you just sort of like think of it as a meh, like sort of like a Labor Day holiday, something you just basically don't really pay much attention to, or like partially? I mean, there's that too, but I also believe. Okay. If we're going to talk about Easter, this is going to get playfully biblical, so just allow it to go there. Playfully. Uh, I'm going to hold you to that. So, in the Bible, Jesus says, before he dies, at the Lord's evening meal, Hey, do this in remembrance of me. Which is, you know, the Lord's evening meal. He breaks the bread and has them drink the wine. Right? That says, this is my body, this is my mm -hmm. blood, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And, you know doesn't say anything about hey let's you gotta do something about and when I'm a lot when I come back that's you got you have to and, okay. and it's not really even about Jesus anymore it's about a big bunny and eggs that is mm -hmm. true which is also playfully that which is playfully pagan as well if you want to take it there yeah so mm -hmm. um, basically what you're saying is since it doesn't really say much about it like being a required holiday you just sort of skip out on it because that makes sense. Basically. Okay. And what about you, Kofu? Since Kofu is from Canada, I assume that it is a completely different tradition. <laughs> and, and Kofu has had a Skype problem. Okay. <laughs> well, that, that's okay. That happens. I um, may as well go ahead and talk about what I'm doing for you. So we usually um, color eggs because boiled eggs are weird looking and they're fun to eat when they are different colors. Um, and of course there's candy. and we It's basically like Christmas dinner, but done again in the middle of the day. Yeah. <clears throat> That's, it's not really um, too much. I mean, when everybody was a little kid, they have the Easter egg thing, but now we just sort of say, hey, happy Easter, have some candy. <laughs> And that's about it. Yeah. And unfortunately, I think Kofu is having connection troubles. That is quite unfortunate. So I'll sign out for her, guys. This is my Kofu voice. Oh my god. Kofu, I love you guys. Bye. Oh my god. So uh, that was Square pretending to be Kofu. A anyway, um, it has been... Uh, it's been fun, and uh, once we do find some time to do this again, hopefully we can do this again. And I'm Jack, this is Square 3, and this is Kofu, and we will see you next time. Bye. Before we go, you yes. act like we're not going to do another recording next week. I, 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 conti I am continuously waiting for something bad to happen and things just getting messed up. So, uh, I'm not optimistic about this. <laughs> Well, anyway, guys, so uh should have some cool stuff coming up on my channel soon. I'm going to go ahead and do a recording tomorrow. And is Kofu and back? Kofu's back, back, so we can Kofu, finish Kofu off. is back. We can sign off and not miss Kofu. Actually, before you go, is there any weird stuff you do for Easter in Canada? Uh, well, you know... <laughs> no, we just have... a virgin. Well, yeah, that's the given. I mean, come on. I think, what? Don't you guys do that? I mean, come on, brush up on your Canadian culture, Square. <laughs> <laughs> no, we just have a dinner, like, kind of like Christmas dinner, just Easter dinner, and eat yeah, chocolate. That seems no, to be it. It seems to be Christmas dinner plus chocolate. Yeah. It's the huge, you know. The huge. I don't know if that's a thing. I think that's a thing now. What's saying, a thing now? Saying the huge. I always want to say it more, but I don't know how to type it out in like chat and stuff. So I have to wait till I can say it out loud like to you this. guys. <laughs> the huge. Like U S. I don't like that though. H. That looks stupid. You look stupid. Oh. <laughs> it really hurts, Square. I'm not apologizing. <laughs> Everyone, I want your apologies. Well, Kofu, I love you. Hello. Okay, okay. <laughs> well, since we got that cleared up, and we know that there isn't too much different in Canada, um, we're not a different thing.
<laughs> well, anyway, um, I'm just cooler than you. <laughs> well, you can that. expect to see something new from Square on his channel. You can expect to see another PvP map from me, from Minecraft on my channel. You can expect to see something from Kofu that is probably kawaii and adorable on her Twitter. <laughs> and this has been the Audiogenic Podcast, and we will see you next time. Bye. Peace out, homies. My most reblogged Twitter. I mean, my most retweeted tweet. This is me. This is me maintaining this thing. Suck it. <laughs> Actually, yeah. How many times has that been retweeted? Once. Really? <laughs> well, that doesn't, well, that doesn't count. It's still. That means it's still very new. I mean, there are some retweets that are, that are just complete and that BS. That doesn't count either. Yeah. Also, uh, speaking of the podcast, uh, Kofu has made some artistry that she's posted on the thread for the podcast on thecolorless.net, and we uh, she re she tweeted it and I retweeted it, and I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure you did too, Square. That is a big it's yes, pretty yes. Amazing. So I did not know you were that good at art, actually. I had not <laughs> seen anything you have drawn before. It's because I never get to finish anything. I always rage quit before I get to the coloring part. Oh. Uh, so, yeah, that didn't happen this time. But that did turn out really well. Myself. You should be. That's a very good... Uh, <clears throat> I probably would do terrible if I tried to draw something like that. You would. <laughs> As would I. Because we're not Kofu. We're not, we're not a part of the drawing. Hello, and welcome to the Audiogenic Podcast. I'm Jack, and I am joined with my co-hosts, as always, Kofuku and Square of Three. What's up, guys? hey -o. Yes, we are still doing this. <laughs> um, actually, has been a... not too much lately, uh, in terms of news, but there is some news between us. Lately, I've been making... since Square's YouTube channel has very little content, and he's been messing around with the uh, recording software. I'm making a map on Minecraft for him to play, and it will be Square's fantastic adventure. And I would it just will... like to say, yes, what he means by little content is that I have no content. We tried to do a recording session the other day um, on this server with all these mini games, and it was totally, it was a total failure. It it was. It was a... <laughs> we were having issues actually staying on the same server. It seemed like whenever I was on one part of the server, Square was missing, or on a complete copy of the server. As if Minecraft was pushing us apart to keep this from working out well. So, uh, anyway, so you have that to look forward to, that I know for a fact will pop up on Square's channel. <laughs> and uh, speaking of um, channels and things, Square 3 and Kofuku are both now on Twitter. I joined the heathens. He, yes. It's funny. Like I am. I enjoy Twitter, 
and then Kofu's like, eh, it's okay. And uh, Square is like, why am I doing this? I don't want to be here right now. Well, I had a Twitter before, and it was never very fun, so that's why I was like, I don't, I don't really want a new one, but I did it for you. Just for you. <laughs> we did it for the Just kind of for fun. us. But let me... All of us, I'm not sure how much uh, you game. You seem to be more into arti artistic things. Do you play many uh, certain video games? What is your favorite game, Kofi? Um... Uh, well, I already finished many games, but I am currently playing Alice, The Madness Returns, and Twilight Princess, Legend of Zelda. Twilight so. Princess! <clears throat> And that was square three, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Thank you, that was beautiful. Yeah, and then I started playing Portal, but it's not really one of games. I don't have it anymore. Portal is a classic game, though. Yeah, I'm probably going to get myself. Play <laughs> that up. It makes me so angry. <laughs> but all all the actually... games make me angry. I've never actually played Portal. Really? Yeah, I when it came out, I thought it looked really cool, and then I saw Infamous and was like, "Ooh, lightning shoots out of his hands! <laughs> Infinitely more blood everywhere must buy." I can see that. It's like and a physics puzzles, and then the shooting people with electricity. Exactly. Yeah. And then it was between the new, the drawing scene. No, don't get me wrong. I have tried. <laughs> I have come up with some pretty okay pieces in my in my not very long arty, art arts career, but Kofu tops <laughs> me by a long shot. So you'll be able to see that art on Kofu's Kofu's uh, Twitter account. I have also changed my profile picture and back art to Kofu's thing. Because she's amazing and I love it, and it has. Like you're my number one fan. Number one art fan. Speaking of number one fans, have I told you about my friend who thinks your voice is super kawaii? <laughs> yes, you told me that like five minutes ago. Oh uh, really? So does uh, Kofu have a secret admirer now? Yep. I have a fan group. <laughs> So, uh, Square, actually, no, Kofu. People have been talking about how Kofu does not say enough. Kofu, say something. You're on the spot. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I talk sometimes. I like words happen. Like right now. Hear me speak. Actually, Kofu, out of all...